Hello everybody and welcome yet again to another tutorial. This time is a more general one because we are going to discuss about a mask, how to create one and how it interacts with the other layers. But first, let's roll in the intro. Let's consider the following scenario. You have a blackboard in front of you and you want to see what's underneath. Well, I'm going to tell you, it's an image, but consider this blackboard as a curtain. You cannot see anything past the black curtain. If we are going to shine a light, and I'm going to use this graph as an example, the light doesn't pass through this. If the curtain is black, the light is not going to pass. If the curtain is white, then the light will pass through the curtain. That's why we add a mask. <laughs> I love that in mask. And here it's a little bit tricky because it's the opposite of the colors that we are going to use. If we are going to use 100% white and start painting on this mask, you'll see that basically nothing will happen. Let me make this brush a little bigger and I am painting with white on the mask nothing happened. Let's watch if we do the opposite and we paint with 100% black. So if we are going to pay 100% black the curtain disappears and it shows you what you have in the background. There you go. And now the light passes 100% through your object, let's say. But what happens if I want to paint with 50% black? It will bring back the element, so in our case the curtain, and you'll see that the image in the background is darkened. Why this is helpful for us? Let's take an example and I'll show you the structure here. I've created an image with the following structure. One layer is the image, the background. One layer is the text that you see here. And of course you have two layers for grass. Now let's see this structure of layers from another angle. Let me hide this one and I'll show you this. This is the same structure where this is the background. We have layer number two, that is the text. And we have layer number three and four that here is just accumulated under one layer. Layer number three, that is the grass. Purple color here represents our mask, what we've hidden in order to integrate the text in the heels here. And also, because this had a background, a white background, I had to go and just quickly mask and I'm left with this grass, this patchy grass, if I can say so. But again, it's a very quick job. And if we look at the initial structure here. You can see that for the text I have this mask here and for the grass the same for layer one of the grass and layer two of the grass as well. Okay let me show you I'll go back to the original image and let me show you how to activate your mask layer so you can see exactly what you've masked. I'm going to use the mask for the text so if you hold option or Alt on PC and click on the thumbnail of the mask, you're going to see how I painted the text. So I've just used some spots in order to hide my text. Nothing extravagant, just some spots with the black color on the white layer. If you want to go back, just click on the text here and you'll go back to seeing the text. I hope that after this small presentation, you have a better understanding on how masks are working and how to structure your layers in order to create something cool. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and smash that like button to inform the gods of YouTube that this is a video that you really enjoyed. Please leave your comment below and let me know what else would you like to see covered here on this channel. Until next time, enjoy the video here and here. Take care.